We're gonna compare the Intel Core i5-4690K and i7-4790K. They are launched with the name Devil's Canyon. They are essentially the Haswell processor with slight improvement in the thermal performance by including a new material that helps transfer the heat from the processor to the cooling material. But other than that, inside the processor, it's same as the Haswell. We also have, you can see this uh, slide from Intel, uh, that's the Devil's Canyon, and it shows the there are two main features, and I'm gonna zoom on it to show you what the Intel says. It's uh, the first one of that is a new polymer thermal interface material that works with the existing uh, cooling solutions and then what what it's basically is uh, it, it allows the overclockers to increase the CPU core frequency by enabling a better thermal performance and also it has additional capacitors on the bottom of the package and the, the additional capacitors they reduce the power supply noise and thereby allow the processors to run at lower core voltage. With these two differences noted, the Devil's Canyon, let's take a look at some more uh, things about the difference between these two particular processors. The i5 one is, uh, is uh, does not support the hyper threading we have both of them are quad core but i7 is the only one that supports the hyper threading and also has the higher base clock and the turbo clock frequency at 4 gigahertz and 4.4 gigahertz the key thing about is is its ability to ramp up this clock frequency at least 4 gigahertz guaranteed and since it's overclockable there's a chance that you can overclock it to substantially higher than this the pricing is decent at three fifty dollars versus two forty three dollars for i5 dash four six nine zero k. So, looking at the pass market score, the i5 dash four six nine zero k is at seven seven two eight versus eleven thousand two hundred thirty six. It's primarily because it's a higher clock frequency and it, it it's overclocked as many people have uploaded these things a lot, lot of enthusiasm among the people as we have a big samples of overclock of uh, these ratings uploaded uh, other than that these two processors are same they have the ddr3 memory the newer sky lake has ddr4 memory that same performance but lower cover at lower voltage to so hd graphics 4600 uh, that's a, that's a okay for a display and uh, low-end gaming, but you will need uh, any high-end graphics card for the gaming thing. I hope this comparison helps you. Thanks for taking a look.